Hi guys, in this video we are going to look at Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. This is a production ready AI framework that empowers individuals with elementary Python knowledge to save 2000 hours. It's very easy to get started and this is in response to a comment received from at the rate Rainier. Oh, great video, thanks for sharing it. Can you create a video content talking about making work uh, Cheshire Cat on Olama must be interesting. So this is uh, in response to the comment from the user. Guys, if you want any videos to be made based on your comments, please comment on the comment section and I will be happy to create videos based on my capability to create those videos. So let's get started. Today we are going to look at Cheshire Cat. It's the production ready AI framework that empowers individuals to uh, prepare a bot for themselves. These are the features uh, of the Cheshire Cat. We have we can have um, the uh, rag as well. We can upload documents, text, markdown. It's 100% uh, dockerized and it's very easy to get started. We can just swap the models in an instance. We can use the OpenAI normal API. We can use Cohere, Hugging Face or a custom local LLM such as Llama Mistral. Uh, there are different configurations to getting getting started. But in this video, we are going to look at integrations of Olama because uh, in the last few videos, I've been talking about the integration of Olama and how we can use that for uh, experimenting with different uh, LLMs because it is so easy. Now, in the Cheshire Cat, we have uh, three types of memory. If we talk about memory, there is this episodic memory, which contains the extract of things that the user said in the past so it remembers the past as well we have declarative memory and when we say declarative memory it is the file that you have uploaded just uploaded procedural memory these are a set of python functions that define the that the cat is able to do what the cat is able to do so you can read uh we can have a read at the docs here it's very detailed uh explanation is provided here now this is an interactive diagram this is an interactive diagram of the Cheshire cat here we have the user and then the uh, let me zoom it so here we have the user and it goes through the API to the Cheshire cat it updates uh, fetches from the long-term memory uh, and after it uses the agent and tools and the memory chain after it gets the answers it returns the answer here and it updates the working memory and it goes back so this is a very uh, detailed workflow and uh, diagram you can see of how this cat works now let's go to the installation but first i want to go to this page and go to download here so once we say download we have this uh, github repo we can clone this repo we can just say git clone and rip and clone this so i have my visual studio code here i have a folder known as cheshire cat i've already git cloned this and i have this working folder now once we git clone we have this docker compose yml and we need to update this with the olama thing here so actually we have a working uh, solution uh, and that has been published in the blog of the cheshire cat website and we can see that we can run the model with olama so here we have the configuration file you can see the y yml configuration file and we can just copy this and go back and put it here so in the docker configuration.yml we can just put it here now once you have this uh, save this and what you can do is uh, okay before this we need to have the docker desktop downloaded as well so you can go to uh, docker desktop download we need to have docker uh, downloaded as well so please download this and you will have this interface of the docker download after the doc docker has been installed and we go to visual studio code and say docker uh, compose and up just press return and this will start up it does take some time once uh, the first time you do it but since i already have done this 
So if you go back to the Docker desktop, we can see that this is running. Uh, the uh, the Cheshire Cat is running here. So inside the Cheshire Cat, we can see that uh, we have the Olama Cat as well and uh, the Cheshire Cat, the, the main vector. So we have these containers running. And once we have this running, we can get started. What we can do is go to a different uh, terminal here. And there we can put in this comment uh, we already have here. Where is that? Okay, I can put in this comment, this one. So save uh, control C and put in this. So this is Docker execute Olama cat. This is the Olama cat uh, container. Olama pull Mistral. We're using this model Mistral 7b instruct uh, Q2k. So just press return. This is going to pull the manifest since I already have this. So it is pretty fast. It's a 3GB file and it has started. So once this is done, what we can do is we can go to our local host. So where is that local host? You can go to this local admin 1865 admin. And we can have this cat running. Right now we can go to uh, the settings here. And in the large language models, what we can do is we can just add this Olama HTTP Olama cat 11434 and we can just put this model. So once we have the uh, Tesher cat and all the installations done here, we can just save this and we can go to home and then you can see uh, we can add different things. We can upload memories. We can upload the URL directly. We can upload a file directly and we can clear the conversation. But I will leave that for a different video. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how to quickly set up the Cheshire Cat with the Olama uh, installation with the Olama framework. And it's very easy as we can see. So having said that, I would like to end this video. If you find this video useful, hit that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends and families. Stay subscribed to my channel. Also, if you like, please join my channel. We have a good community there and watch the other videos on my channel. I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.